I just got these two devices from Lilligo. The T-Pager and the Lilligo CC1101. You might be like, Lily, don't you already have that? Yes, I do. But this is the plus, okay? You can see three antennas, this thing looks tough. And the features on here is crazy. So let's get into it. Now, if you don't know what this thing can do, it's kind of crazy. So it's an alternative to the Flipper Zero. Now we all know I do not like Flipper Zero. So, of course, a new guy had to come along. Now, the CC1101 has been out there for a while, but the one thing that no devices have so far is NRF24, and Lilligo somehow managed to pack it in here. Now, of course, there's only one firmware we could have on here, and this is Bruce. Now, over here, I'll put the video on how to flash that. Uh, just like a short, it's, oh my gosh, so easy. But the boot button is this middle button. I thought it would have been this button back here. And you just hold it down, plug it in, and it's in boot mode. But, after you flash it, you're going to notice some weird stuff happening. Mainly, this thing not turning on. Now, I tell you. So, I open this thing up, right? And I'm seeing all this stuff in here. This is before I had the antennas, because I did have to add these manually. But, if we just take a look at this, you're going to see it has this NRF chip back here. Now, this is what one of the antennas is connected to. But, if we go ahead and unscrew this, we will find uh, this button. I'll put the picture up here. We'll find this button, and you just need to press this. It is right here when you're looking at it. And once you press that, it's actually going to go ahead and turn on. Now, of course, I got some custom themes on here. I have gone over how to download these, as it's super easy. So, time to do some testing with this. Now, I mean, the themes are a little more complicated, but if you're getting a device like this, you just know basic stuff. So, Wi-Fi, and I've gone over this stuff before, but you have your connect. So you could start by doing Wi-Fi attacks. We have Bluetooth. <clears throat> I swear. Only people that use BLE spamming anymore are nerds. Now, there is actually RF on this thing. So you can copy signals and then send them back out. We have our record, and you could choose what ranges you want. If you want to do all ranges. I mean, that's one of them too. So, look at that. Actually, pretty darn cool. And then you could see all this stuff. You could replay it. But... You could save it. No way, I actually just caught someone's and I let it go. That is insane. Do you see that? So I could replay it. This actually has RFID right here. IR right here. So it's like every single thing that the flipper can do. Plus more FM. And I do want to add GPS to this so I can word drive. I have I cannot fit it in here. Just simply can't. It's so packed. But NRF24, this is a new thing. Now, I did it on my short, which I'll leave a link to down below. But... I'm not trying to say the J-A-M word on a long-form video, especially a partnership one like this, where it's the first video out. But NRF24, and we have information. Let me read this disclaimer. These functions were made to be used in controlled environments for study only. Do not go. Do not use these functions. You will go to jail. The device is very sensible to noise. So long wires or passes can make things go wrong. So it basically says you can J-A-M. It's illegal. But uh, I'm in a controlled environment, guys. That's why I was capturing signals from outside. No, I'm I'm joking, guys. <laughs> I can't take myself serious. So, NRF. So, this has a few things we can JAM. Wi-Fi, USB, Bluetooth, Bluetooth, something else. And then live streaming or live footage. I have no idea what that looks like. I do want to do a live this Sunday, okay? And I am thinking at around 2... So then my viewers from different countries, because a lot of my friends are in the UK, can join because they always miss out and they're super sad. But anyway, we're going to be going over this then. I've got my speaker here, JBL, of course. <laughs> and, I mean, let's just try this out. Mm, I don't know how well it'll work, but... God forbid the girl's trying to have... I've got text if you want to date. I've sex you want to make love. Which one? Which one? got a bear. See though, doing it too much will damage your device. I know with my flipper it did, and that's why I even gave the uh, warning there. If you have that going for a crazy amount of time, I mean, of course it's gonna burn something out, but pretty darn neat. It's kind of super nice to have something like that on the hand. So this is my Wi-Fi antenna, NRF and sub gigahertz or RF. Now, the only question left to answer is if I could use one of these with this guy. And that is it for now, okay? Now, if you guys want to see that last question answered, I mean, stick around. But that is it for this video. Thank you so much, Lilligo. Not gonna lie. 
I love the T-Pager. It can't do as much, but the idea of this, I think since Hack 5, they ruined it for me. I'm in love with pagers now. I have the Bruce Pager, I have the Mashtastic Pager, now I'm going to have the Hack 5 Pager. That is it for this video. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Go join the Discord, ages 13 to 17, link down below. Bye.